But this should also be a good matchup with double pyro. Like you just wanna go crazy. Do you think you can beat Rogue and Paladin? Yes, if I have like a good opener. Like, I don't know. I have basically Pyroblast over Corridor Creepers. Pyroblast and another secret. Like, if you just don't draw your Corridor Creepers, do you think you can beat Rogue and Pala? If the answer is yes, then my answer is also yes. Sometimes I can just cheese my opponent too, which is like extra. But why, would, why do you think this deck is worse? Like, yeah, I have some extra greediness, but I still have double Mana Arm, double Arcanologist, double Kabalaki, double Medivh's Valet, and all the other early game that the deck has. You need to be more open-minded. deck sucks against Paladin. Yeah, then this deck sucks as much as that original deck. I didn't say that it's better than the original deck, I just said it's like... same. Maybe they both suck. But this doesn't suck less. Like, Paladin, Rogue are already bad matchups. So I'm saying like, why are they playing Corridor Creeper, which makes those matchups from 30 to 31%? You're better off just playing Pyroblasts and going ham! I really hope he doesn't get the 4-8. But it's very hard to beat Barnes into your charge anyways. It's like the best they can get. I wanna pull him off the charge. Consider it done. If he gets the 4 8, I have to pull him off that though. Shit got crazy. Charge, pussy, charge. We have to get Frost Nova, I think, is the play. Oh, exactly what I needed. I need to draw Fireball, or I need to draw Frostbolt, and I need him to not have Greater Healing Potion. How hard can this be? 
Also, I have to hope the four eight, the second four eight is in his hand. Otherwise, he'll he's gonna pull it from the deck. Okay, we lose. But come on, guys! Like it's it's almost impossible for any deck to beat Barnes into his charge on four. Like if he wouldn't have Barnes in charge on four, I would insta win this. <laughs> 